This video will just cover the basics of the proper procedure once a limit switch is hit. Um, your machine comes with two limit switches. A uh, limit switch will stop all motion. Um, it's in a sense the equivalent of hitting the emergency stop switch. Both limit switches are located on the z-axis of the torch movement. Um, one is located to protect the ball screw um, so it, it trips if you try to go too high uh, either jogging or with your g-code or going too low. The other switch is located behind the torch um, floating plate that, that, that clamps that mount the uh, torch themselves. Behind that we have our reference switch to, to find the top of the metal. If it continues down and the reference switch either faults or during cut if something is wrong and the torch were to dive into the metal, um, it will sooner or later hit the limit switch. Um, both limit switches are corrected the same way. Um, I'm going to simulate uh, hitting one. As you can see when you hit one, the, the status will, down here, will say limit switch triggered and the machine will go into reset. The way you correct this is first and foremost you need to find out what limit switch hit and, and, and what travel went too far and it's usually pretty easy just by visually looking is it too high up or is it too far down. Um, and then of course if it was during your g-code you need to find out what happened and, and correct it. If it was during jogging, well, just uh, try not to jog it quite so high up or quite so far down. What we have to do is it's pretty simple but um, I get a lot of calls on it, so we have to obviously before we can do any movement take the machine out of reset. So, okay, we have our solid green bar again. You can see our status, our, our alarm went away. Now I know that I lifted the torch up too high, so I am now going to lower the torch. You will see that when the switch opens, it trips it again. That is normal. What we need to do is click the reset again, and now we're free to move it. Okay? So it is a two-step process. You're going to hit the, the reset, move the opposite direction that caused the fault. It's going to trip again when that switch opens. You then are going to hit the, hit the reset again and then proceed with motion. Um, and that is it for resetting your uh, limit switches.